Well, the big question will be, how is this course going to be laid out? What challenge is there for the sailors? Well, it is an import challenge and it's a tight reaching drag race laid out just in front of Alicante Harbour and it begins with a reaching start. Our teams will be able to cross the line at full speed. From there, four corners, five legs, uh, downwind and upwind section as well before reaching across the line to finish on each lap. Racing underway here in Alicante and a very good start for four of our VO65s. No surprise to see Mirpuri Foundation Racing Team in the mix. Viva Mexico, Amber Sail 2 and Wind Whisperer Racing Team all coming off the line well. And Sam, interesting here, we've got a little bit of a difference in uh, the way these boats are set up. Yes, um, it's quite interesting and you can see that um, Mirpuri uh, got the best start um, and they were uh, brave maybe is the right word enough to go straight onto their masthead zero and not use the J1 um, which is a little bit more maneuverable uh, before the start and uh, that's enabled them to Mirpuri Foundation Racing Team will be above. They will have the best breeze and you can see the Polish team with the red hull just having to pinch to get round the mark, trying to widen their turn. How much of an attacking position that will be for Mirpuri Foundation Racing Team, we will have to see. And a little bit of a moment, their hesitation, they weren't too sure which side to attack. Yeah, and it looks like um, it's pretty close. Uh, the boat's just behind as well. Um, uh, there's obviously some rules involved uh, in getting the inside uh, round the mark uh, Yayo uh, looks like they made a get good gain on that um, just that last approach to the mark uh, and on board now with Wind Brisper Racing Team for this crucial jive and you can see the shadow of the boats behind them that is what is going to be blocking the breeze here if they go too early then they risk sailing an inefficient low and slow angle to the mark if they go too late well, they just leave the door open for everyone else to jive on top of them. You can see the crew on board now, eyes behind. They are, they're, the sheets now, they're rigged up around the other winches. Now the activity, here comes the jive. Yeah, looks like it. Um, and also you can, um, you can even do fake jives if, uh, if, if you want the others to go before you. Well, so far, nothing fake about this one. This is crucial. How well can they deploy that A4 back out from the top? So a good furl, we out it comes. It. So uh, potentially uh, with just one tack, um, the, that change of sail is not going to have uh, paid off. Well, we have had an enormous wind shift on this course for what should be quite a standard course that was able to absorb a lot of wind shifts, these long reaching legs. Actually, Wind Whisperer Racing Team, they have sailed well, but they attacked just as that wind shift came in, it propelled them up to that top mark. Their windward hip, Team Yayo is coming in with pace with the masthead Code Zero, the bigger sail. They can't point as high, but they've got the speed. And you can see the Dutch team bearing down on them all the time. Paolo Mipuri at the back of the boat, trying desperately to keep the boat going. He can steer to the right, pinch higher, but the speed will bleed out of everything and then he will slip sideways. Right now, they look set to have just enough pace to get round this mark, but it's really going to hurt them. And as they go on to this long reach, they are going to have the Dutch on their windward side. And the question is, uh, they've got enough pace to get round the mark, but are they going to be able to stay ahead for that during this manoeuvre that we can see where they're changing? from the J1 to the masthead zero. And obviously that change uh, does temporarily slow you down a bit. You can see the crew going forward now to help drag down the J1. And all, all this time there's extra air drag in the two sails, the flapping sail, the extra people on the bow who aren't, uh, aren't on the rail during that maneuver. And that's slowing down Mirpuri and giving an opportunity for Team Yayo to try and just get to windward and maybe sneak through speeds so low just creeping themselves forward one more puff of breeze and suddenly Murpo Foundation Racing Team might just be able to match or even overhaul but meanwhile not stuck in the same quagmire is Wind Whisper Racing Team coming across the finish line they led off the start line in lap one lap two was all about the light airs but the Polish team managed to hold their nerve and they claim the maximum six points in the first import race for the VO65 Sprint Cup.